Should I take calls? Sure, it's a talk show. Well, we can just talk amongst ourselves. Hi, you're on the Rick Emerson Show. Hey, Rick. Hello. Hi, hey. Robot. Um, I don't know if you've uh, discussed this, but I was wondering when uh, Dexter starts up again. Season I... 3, August. Okay. That's, you know, I've always wondered why somebody hasn't killed, like, bad people. And I'd actually, other than the killing, I'd like to be like Dexter. But not really the killing part, but everything else. It's not that he's washing the blood off his hands as he speaks. So, <laughs> in, anyway. what, in, what, in what way? No, 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 you can't go away. In well, what other ways would you like to be, apart from the killing, how would you like to be like Dexter, sir? Well, you know how he kind of doesn't really like people um, that way. And then he's got a real good dry sense of humor, which, you know, who doesn't enjoy that? But uh, I don't know. And then he had some skanky English Girl. Oh, Lila. Oh, yeah, I have stab she, in the eyes. You know, that was kind of weird how, well, I don't well, know. Don't I don't ruin it spoiler for alert, but at the very last episode, because I guess she killed her first creed or whatever, the his stepfather's. Uh, well, let's try to avoid spoilers here. But so in, so in what, so you would like to be Dexter in the sense of having a skanky English girlfriend? No, I mean, you no. Know. Just, I don't know. I guess I like the show a lot. So, but I mean, what other personality traits does Dexter Morgan have that you, sir, would like to also well, possess? Well, you know how he has, you know, his little insights on life and, you know, his little very dry sense of humor. And, um, I don't know. I guess kind of the way he kind of avoids people. Yeah. Do, I like that. Do you, as, as it now stands, do you, do you currently see any similarities between Dexter and yourself? Oh, yeah, I guess I have that kind of inner conversation with myself. How know? do those conversations usually go? What sorts of things do you what sorts of things do you have the inner uh, conversation about? Oh, I think uh which way Rick Emerson drives home at night. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um funny. But uh yeah, Rick is a very bad man. Yeah, you know well, right? of course he is. Just think of all the money he didn't give to the orphans or whatever it was. Nice challenge children, that was. I know. Do you have conversations inside yourself about the people around you? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, have uh, you taken he, Have you taken any steps to become more like Dexter, sir? Um, I haven't bought any knives or anything, but uh, is that I haven't bought any knives yet? Well, yeah, I mean, I haven't actually gone and gotten the ones I've picked out yet, no. What kind of knives have you picked out, sir? Are they Cutco brand? I hear that's really good. That that would be a spoiler alert, too. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, Do you have a small list of people that have to be dealt with? Yeah. Actually, just, you know, read the newspaper every day. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, are you, are you keeping are you compiling of, a list? In most of the Clackamas County. Um, Do you have a list um, on like written on paper and lipstick on, hanging on your wall? Or is it more of a mental list? It's actually it's spelled out in like you know letters out of a magazine. You know you cut each letter out. Yeah. That type. All right. Is it written in a secret code that only you can read? And probably you too. You could probably read it too, Rick Emerson. Because is it written in the secret Rick Emerson language? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> when you when you let me ask you this: When you watch Dexter, do you have moments where you say to yourself, "I can really see where that guy's coming from"? Yeah. All right then. Oh, but to be yeah. fair, we all we all. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, all of us. Yeah. All right. When are you going to buy the knives? Are you saving up for them? Yeah, well, I might just pass the knife up and go right for the chainsaw. Well, the chainsaw does, uh, that's a way to get things done effective. quickly. I would say it's like having a, it's like having a robotic knife, sir. Now, wasn't that, you had a caller one time that was talking, uh, the, uh, the, the electric knife, and they had to add noise to it because people kept lopping off their finger. People kept lopping, lopping off a finger. I don't think you can really lop off the finger, though. I think the electric knife will pretty much just take off the skin, and then once it hits the bone, it probably stops. Maybe a hedge trimmer, though. That could probably get some, uh, that could get some work done. You've thought about this? Yeah, I, I have. Okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not alone. No, you're not, you're not sir. Okay. I'm, in your, I'm in your head thinking all of your secret thoughts along with you. I knew that. Okay. Thank you, Thank sir, you. and 
Tim and Sarah. Uh-huh. Thank you. And, right. and, you know, they're your friends, right? By the way, Tim... Yes, we're, we're close friends. Tim, Tim was lamenting that not enough people come and knock on his door, by the way. <laughs> well, not anymore. Okay, bye. Bye. Todd just sent me the... That's how I was laughing. He sent me the hilarious email.